so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video i'm going to talk about how you can use the auto rig pro add-on using the blender this add-on will help you create a realistic human rig within a second and in this video i'm going to talk about how you can use this add-on from beginning to from end so make sure you watch this tutorial till end and if you like this video so make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe my channel so now let's start the video <music> So first of all here you can see guys let me show you first of all this character and here you can see we have one character his name is Arnold and he's very muscular guy here you can see okay but what we have done with this character by the way here you can see we have a teeth part also we have a tongue part here you can see okay and these things are separate basically and we have a whole body and we have a cloth as all right so first of all what I'm going to do basically I'm going to select my whole bit of body something like that and then I'm just gonna my auto rig pro I don't here you can see this will look something like that so first of all you have to just go to auto rig pro smart option and here you can get the one option it's called get selected object you have to just click this and it will ask you you have to do full body or facial only you have to just click full body and here you can see you just click the full body you will get these kind of user interface so first of all here you can see it is telling to us add neck so what i'm going to do basically i'm just going to click the button and i will just add this pointer in his neck then i will just add his chin i'm just going to add his chin as well and let me just turn from the right view and i'll just move this chin here to here something like that and again i will just come to my front view then i will just add the shoulder so here we have our shoulders something like that just to pause some then it will ask for adding the wrist so i will just add the wrist part and then it will ask for adding the spine root so this is our spine root and last but not least it will ask for the ankle one so i will just add this anchor something like that now here you can see all the pointers are fixed but make sure you just see from the all angles everything should be in the top of this body mesh basically something like that and it should be also aligned perfectly okay let's look awesome look great and let me just see you this ankle part also basically i will select this pointer and move it little bit here to here that's look awesome by the way and we'll also work with this spine root i will just move this little bit upside okay everything look good to go and apart from that you don't need to change anything you have to just uh, click this add facial rig as well you have to just click this add facial and after that you will get these kind of controller basically so you have to just place all those controller into their place something like that now here you can see i will just move this here to here something like that here to here something like that that look cool okay looking awesome same thing we'll just move this eye controller here to here and here to here all right then i'm just gonna scale this something like that so what i'm gonna do basically i will select everything and i'm just gonna scale it something like that and i'm just gonna keep it center something like that then i'm just gonna scale it on our y-axis as well something like that look awesome yeah you have to just place all these uh, pointers on the edge of this eye yeah that look awesome by the way you can move it here to here everything look good to me right now okay then i will just place this nose controller here to here yeah and i will just place these eyes sorry ears controller here to here something like that yeah everything look good to me then i will just move this chin bone here to here something like that this is our chin bone keep it here to here all right then we have to select our lips controller i will just move it here to here it's look good then i'm just going a little bit 
scale and little bit scale something like that and move it here to here now here you can see everything look good to me and this is our chain part i will just move it here to here all right guys after adding the all bones according to our facials all right so here you can see we have some options here it is called eyeball object so right now we have a two object two eye basically so i will select first of all the the left eye so this is our eye left i will select the right eye i will just click the uh, eye right then we have already one tongue and we have a two teeth first we have our up teeth basically it's called uh, what is the name of this teeth yeah this is we have a top teeth and we have a bottom teeth we have a bottom teeth all right now everything is look good to go for me i will just hit ok and now we have to just click the go now it will analyze and create all the bones according to this structure whatever structure we have given to this uh, body and this add on basically and sometimes it will take a little bit time basically okay all right guys now here you can see all the bones have aligned according to the given instructions and it look very nice here you can see all the facial bones also looking super nice here you can see and uh, we have to change only one thing we have to change these three bones what we have to do basically we have to just move it a little bit closer all three bones something like that and this one is a little bit also and apart from that i don't think so we have to change anything because everything is look good to go to me all right yeah all bones are looking nice okay now after that what we can do basically we can just uh, exit from the our uh, uh, edit mode and we will just click this master rig and after that here you can see it will create all the controllers for our bones and here you can see all those controllers are looking awesome now what we can do we have to just exit from our pose mode here you can see so we can just press the control tab and we will exit directly from the our pose mode then i'm just going to select my whole body something like that dragging and then the, uh, okay and then i will just select my rig after that and i will just go to my scaling part okay and this is very important part you have to very precisely look all the options which is i'm going to do you here basically and first of all we have a binding settings here and we have a three kinds of uh engines first we have a heat map second we have a voxelized third we have a voxelized heat diffuse but this is a separate add-on so you have to install it then you will be able to see these options so we will talk only those two options basically so first of all we will just set this option as a heat map and apart from that we have to keep all those settings by default and if you have any changes of facials so you can do it here but right now we don't have any uh, facials expression changes we will we will not do anything and we have one section is called basically binding section so here you can see we have one option it's called basically preserve volume it is already checked so what is does exactly basically it will preserve the all bones volumes according to their shapes their uh, size and their uh, volume basically so make sure it should be checked and uh, also you have to check this scale fix and what is does exactly if you uh, accidentally uh, scale your uh, object so it will fix the scale issue and it will create a perfect rig for that uh, object also and apart from that you don't need to change anything you have just click the hit bind all right guys so it will take a little bit time for uh, binding the bone with the uh, body basically and it also depends on your system configurations so everything is look good to go and when it's done we will show you and we will try to move all those bones and let's see how it look like basically all right guys now here you can see this process is complete and now we will try to move our bones and let's see our uh, body is rigged or not so what i will do basically i will just press the control tab and i will just directly switch into my object to rig mode and now i will just try to move this hand and let's see and now here you can see guys this is perfectly working and that's look awesome by the way here you can see all the bones are looking perfectly rigged oh my god that's look awesome now here you can see we have some uh you can see we have some uh what we can say weight painting issue that's why it's happening basically here you can see 
but everything is look good to go here you can see and let me show this uh, yeah foot bone is also look nice let me just move this yeah everything is look good to go but there is some weight painting issue so if you'll just do comment down and if you want to know that how to do man body weight paint each and every bones so i will definitely make the video on that topic but if you don't want to do manually all the weight painting so i have one add on for that which is called basically box of heat diffuse skinning add on you can just download this add on from the internet it will be free for everyone you can just download it but now how will just fix this uh, weight painting issue here you can see and if i'm just trying to move his hand it is also affecting our body as well here you can see so how we can fix this so for that what we can do basically we have to just uh, exit from our pose mode then we have to select our whole body something like that and we have to just go to edit mode of our body pressing the tab okay something like that and then we have to select some certain spaces like we have to select some certain areas like these areas i'm gonna select it I will select whole okay yeah I will select this area as well this what is this as well yeah I think everything look good to go for me we can just subtract these areas because we don't need yeah all right okay after that I will just exit from my uh, edit mode and then I'm just gonna unhide my rig I will select again all body along with this rig something like that and right now what i will do first of all i will change my uh, engine as a voxelized heat diffuse skinny and i will just select this option basically selected vertices only so what it does is this option basically it will only affect this add-on the selected areas and that will help us to keep our before heat map as well and uh, like facial heat map body basically it will fix our uh, bone heat problems i will just click the bind and it will take a little bit time and you can also see the real time how much time it will take in the bottom here you can see i just click the bind here you can see this is the time it is showing basically sometimes it take around one minute sometimes it takes less than one minute but yeah these add-on give a good uh weight painting uh what we can say result basically and here you can see it is showing almost 15 seconds so after 15 seconds you will be uh, able to see the basically move your rig and see how much it fits. So now here you can see it is done. Now what we can do basically we can again go to our pose mode and I will just try to move his hand and let's see. So now here you can see that short is also moving with this. So look perfect. Now we'll just move his jaw. So now here you can see it is only moving there join nothing else so that's how this add-on is automatically fix the weight paint issue and which is look nice by the way and now here you can see if i'm just going to switch into my material preview so you can able to see all those body parts how it's looking cool by the way now here you can see if i'm just going to move his eyes here you can see this is look perfect and you can also move his eyes you can also like close his eyes something like that here you can see you look awesome okay so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something from this video please be like button to share and subscribe so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something from this video please hit the like button the share button subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box or definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys Bye-bye. Love you all.